tools and techniques of African elites political domination. The first one is African elites they send their children to foreign schools, foreign universities, so that they can acquire education that is more qualitative than the, that, of, that of African, that of, that of the education that is available to the mass of African children. Also, they, in connivance with international money lenders, they devalue the money in Africa. So the exchange rate is so low or, or, or whichever, whichever way you call it to the, the price of, of dollar to an African currency is so high that it is very very difficult for an African to travel overseas and easier more is easier for a foreigner to to travel to Africa, it is cheaper for a foreigner to travel to travel to Africa. So it is, it is in the same vein. It is cheaper for a foreigner or an African who has money overseas to buy African assets to set up businesses in Africa. You just need small amount of money to do so. So Africans they keep their wealth in foreign currency, so they can they can buy our assets. They can buy our national assets. Their children can buy our national assets. They can raise the money to participate in politics, which is beyond the reach of most Africans. So by situating their wealth abroad and not in Africa, by uh, keeping their wealth in so-called hard currency and not in the soft currencies of Africa, they are preparing the ground for domination. And their children will continue to dominate because they are giving their children foreign education which is better than the education they give to, the, to their own children at home. They underfund their own schools and universities. They underfund them. They stab the teachers and lecturers. So, and they send their own wars overseas so that they can come and become colonial masters. Secondly, they make education to be expensive. They make education to be expensive in Africa. So a majority of people will remain illiterate, ignorant, poor, and they'll be, they'll be their stupid followers, dogmatic, blind, clueless, unreasonable followers because, because of lack of access to quality education. So they genuinely bring a mass of an illiterate people, incapable of discernment, of knowing their right from their left. So making education expensive, takes majority of the people out of the educational system to deliberately keep majority of the people from being educated because an educated people is a threat to them. Also, lack of uh, social amenities like good houses, education, health, electrical power, they are scarce in Africa. So their people are not economically empowered. So they are poor. So they use poverty too as a, as a, as a weapon of uh, political domination. So when election times comes, they now distribute money, 4,000, 5,000 naira. They call it the Bufuwa Kusibe. Vote for us and cook soup. Stomach infrastructure and so on and so forth. Also, they use religion and tribalism. They, they say their opponents are unbelievers, infidels or their opponents are members of a rival tribe or ethnic group who want to overtake or overthrow the ruling tribe or ethnic group. So millions of their followers, they want to preserve their, their, the power of their ethnic group or they want to preserve the power of their religion. So they scare them away from choosing good leaders who may belong to another religion or ethnic group. So they use religion and tribalism as instrument of domination. Also, they deliberately, they deliberately make election to be difficult in Africa. They deliberately make the obtaining, obtaining the, the voter's card to be so difficult. We have to queue in the sun for hours from morning to evening 
go to rigorous uh, screening and, uh, and accreditation uh, registration process. So a lot of people cannot go through this rigor. They go back home frustrated. So only their thugs and sponsored agents can go through this rigor and vote on the election day. So majority of people don't have voters card. Because they know that if everybody have voters card, they can be thrown away. So deliberately, so it's a deliberate tool of domination for not allowing everybody to have voters card. And they will not they will shut down the country on, on the day of election. They will restrict movement. They have not been able to use technology to allow people to vote from their houses, from their places of work, from their market, from their business places. Just vote online without coming to a queue in long hours. So they, they deliberately make the voting process to be very strenuous. So that is this what we are, we a lack of access to a voters card. Only a minority of people have voters card. B election. Uh, election uh, uh, voting is very very strenuous. So all these things they, they keep majority of people from participating in the electoral process. Therefore, therefore the disenfranchising majority of the people. So the summary is these tools and techniques of political domination. One, uh, foreign currency against weak African currency, economic domination. Foreign education against underfunded African education, which makes their children to be superior and ready for leadership position. Expensive education in Africa, which is beyond the reach of most people. Lack of access to social amenities and social infrastructure, which generates poverty. And uh, poor people can be buy, they can be bought on election day. And religion and tribalism. May God help African countries in Jesus' name. Amen.